Hello, everyone. We're excited to introduce the top new features in Unify 3.1, one of our most feature-packed releases yet. First up, our new AutoCAD add-in. This add-in allows Unify to communicate directly with your active AutoCAD projects, much like it currently does with Revit. Navigate to a block in Unify and click the preview image to place that block into your active drawing. This works for both regular blocks as well as dynamic blocks and for all variations of AutoCAD, including Architecture, MEP, and Civil 3D. You can also batch insert blocks as well as export blocks from within a drawing to be uploaded and stored in Unify. Next, Enhanced Content Requests. The user interface has been refreshed so it's easier to use and now supports all file formats. Additionally, we've incorporated email notifications and a comments thread to enable more efficient collaboration in the content request workflow. Email notifications will be sent out each time a new request is submitted, the request status has changed, or a new comment has been added. Notifications are sent to the content requester, library admins for selected libraries, and selected content request user groups. User groups can be identified as a content request group by selecting the checkbox shown here. Users can also request updates to existing content by selecting the Request Update option in our new Actions button under File Details. For updates, the request form is pre-populated with known information such as the file name, file type, and libraries. Once the request is submitted, a link is provided to the existing content for easy reference. Next up, a new feature, Project Harvest. With Project Harvest, it's now easy to transfer content from one Revit project to another. On the Project Harvest page, open projects in your active Revit session are available to be selected as either the source project, where elements are copied from, or the target project, where elements are copied to. For the source project, you can also choose a project file stored in Unify or your local network. With the source and target project specified, a list of content available to be copied will be displayed and organized in tabs by category. If you want to see preview images, select the items you're interested in and click here to load them. Grade items are already loaded in the target project but can still be selected to copy and overwrite. Now let's talk about the Unify portal. Have you ever needed to access the Unify portal but you forgot the web address? Or perhaps you didn't know the Unify portal even existed. Well, now we have a link built right into the Unify client. Not only that, we've added some new features to the portal as well. The Batch Tag Manager now also includes the ability to manage what libraries your content is associated with, so moving content between libraries is a snap. Simply choose the content you'd like to modify and select or deselect libraries as needed. We've also added a new section for project spaces. Here, you can create custom spaces and associate individual project files with each space. If you'd like us to collect analytics on a space and its associated project files, be sure to verify the Gather Project Analytics option is checked. Project analytics give company admins greater insight into who's working on the project, what content is in the project, and whether that content came from Unify, and other information geared towards identifying and preventing possible issues. You can also pin selected libraries and channels to a project space. With libraries and channels pinned, any user working in a project file associated with that project space will automatically have their search pre-selected to your pin choices. Users do have the option of adding additional libraries and channels to their search if needed. Want to give these new features a try? Start a free trial today at unifylabs.com or contact us at support at unifylabs.com to set up a demo with our customer success team.